Hang on, we're on to something. Just a few more blocks. Uh... <laughs> Archaeology is coming to Minecraft through the long-awaited Caves and Cliffs update. And my team and I have recreated it so that we can take an early look at how it may work. My name is System Z, and grab your shovels, it's time to start digging. If you enjoy the video, consider subscribing, or I'll bury all of your diamonds. So, we have added archaeology- Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! No! Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, my team and I have recreated archaeology, and that means adding the new brush as well as the new digging mechanic and a whole lot more. Archaeology is actually going to be really awesome, but quickly, a disclaimer. This is our take on archaeology. It's not going to be exactly how it is in Minecraft 1.17, but that being said, Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Ah, <laughs> funny jokes. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Okay, so as you can see, we are here in an excavation site. This is a new structure that will spawn in general vanilla worlds, or should I say generate? That would be more sensible. It features something like a tent, uh, maybe even a burner, as you can see here, and of course, a giant pit. And who doesn't love to jump in a giant pit? In this giant pit, you can see my previous home. No, this is definitely not my home. This is the home of some really long past Minecraft players who left behind treasures that we are meant to uncover using the powers of archaeology, which as you can see here, by right-clicking with the brush, we can actually mine away at the gravel, or sift away, I should say, to reveal treasures inside. I mean, how amazing is this? This is something I've actually... <gasps> is that a diamond? Oh, it is! See, that's what's amazing, is you can get really good treasures. Sometimes you can get really, really awesome things. Other times you can get a ceramic shard, which as you can see, is a little bit more like what we saw during Minecraft Live, but a little bit more on that here in just a moment. And then other times you might not be so lucky. You might get something like, well, here's an example, a flower pot. Now look, I like flower pots as much as the next guy, but that's nothing compared to a diamond. I could honestly do this all day. There is just something so amazing about sifting away at the dirt and gravel. I absolutely love it. I wonder what we're gonna get in this one. Come on, give me something good. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> How many times is this gonna happen? <laughs> Alright, well, archaeology, so far, so good. We actually need to go and collect all of the ceramic shards that we saw previously. You know, considering a creeper just blew us up, we're gonna need to go and redo this so that we don't have to deal with putting everything back together. Because that would- wait a minute. Come on, give me something good. Hopefully not a creeper- dirt? Is that dirt? <laughs> There was dirt in dirt? Okay, well, sometimes it's not gonna be the most lucky, but so you just gotta move on. Wait, what? Dirt? Again? <laughs> what is happening? No, I just- I, sh Dirt? Surely I'm not this unlucky. Give me something good, not dirt anymore. I'm tired- Okay, there we go. Copper, that's- that's more like it. But we actually need ceramic shards, so hopefully- Not again! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! As you can see, after a while, you will begin to uncover ceramic shards, which are actually going to be in the game. However, I've tweaked the idea a little bit to be a little bit more of how I would like to see this implemented. But essentially, using ceramic shards and clay pots, which as you can see, which can be crafted here with clay blocks, you can actually use them to put your very own designs based on what you found and uncovered in the archaeology sites. So in this case, we can take a blue ceramic shard, go ahead and dye that, and if we place it over a uh, campfire or an open flame, we can actually fire it and get our very own pot out of it. Which in my case actually has a design, it's the wither. Whereas what was shown, it's more or less going to be you find different pieces, put together your own story, and it will save whatever pieces of art you have found. But as you can see, we can then take it, place it anywhere, and we got ourselves a fancy decoration. And of course, I mean, this is big news for builders because this is going to be a really, really lovely decoration to have. We can take our red ceramic pot, 
give that a good firing. There we go. We got a little nether portal. And again, I cannot stress enough, this is my own take and my own spin on this particular feature. So don't expect it to be exactly like this at the end of the day. Of course, we've got an emerald there. These could be great decorations to even find in villages. Then, of course, you can also take the default clay pot and get your very own terracotta clay pot. And we can take it and we can place it and take it. I'm Link right now. Where are the rubies at? Like, for example, a gigantic house plant. I mean, just how amazing does that look? Anyone who's been watching my videos for a while, you would know that I have been using this style of decoration for a very long time. And I've wanted pots in the game for even longer. Yes, we've got the flower pot, but at the end of the day, this is a much better looking decoration. And the fact that we'll be able to design them with our own art and artifacts found in the excavation sites is very exciting. But you know what? I am just as excited for the slabs because this is amazing. I mean, just imagine being able to create little pathways. You know, all you gotta do, look at that, there's a pot in that one, which is a little bizarre, but you know, we'll roll with it. That's what we gotta do here on this channel anyways. We gotta roll with it, you never know what's gonna happen, you never know what you could find. I mean, just look at this and imagine this for decorations. Oh, I love it. But anyways, that is pretty much that. Archaeology, in my opinion, is going to be a very, very exciting mechanic. But before we go, I do have a question. What do you think would be the funniest and craziest thing that you could dig up using archaeology? But also, what do you think should be available anyways? Do you think enchanted books should be available? Perhaps even candles, which as we know are going to be added? I've done a lot of videos on a lot of the recent updates and news, so I really, really recommend you check those out. I mean, all the way from the warden to even a really strong axolotl, which is super funny and random, and just a lot more coming. I'm really excited to see what we're going to do with all of the Caves and Cliffs content and beyond. Oh look, a lightning rod. <laughs> well, you know what that means. Well, would you look at that, the end of another video. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who supported my limited edition plushie. And I bring good news. We've been given an additional week of time to reach the goal we originally set out to achieve. That means seven more days of plushie awesomeness. Click the link in the description below for more information. Well, my friends, that is a pet rock, but it's also the end of yet again another video. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. We are well on our way to 600,000 subscribers, which is honestly insane. I really never thought I would be here, but it's all thanks to you, and I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed. It currently makes up about 30% of the people who watch my videos, though, so there's a lot of you watching right now who haven't yet subscribed, and I completely understand if you don't want to, but if you're looking for a new channel to subscribe to, just for the heck of it, consider, you know, helping me out. I'm on that journey to 600,000, so, you know, cool stuff. On that topic, there's actually like 40% of people who are subscribed who also have notifications on, which is like really high for a lot of channels, so thank you. I appreciate that. No wonder a lot of you are in the comments when the video first drops. But anyways, I could rant on and on. Seriously, all I want to say is thank you. That's about it. <laughs> That's going to do it for today's video. Uh, my name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.